Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to Go Line Hockey. It's your boy Kevin Forte and today it is officially the end of the trade deadline. Really good video. Uh, make sure to check out our live streams. They were really, really good. Um, but today we're taking a look at the Edmonton Oilers because I think there's a lot to talk about with the Oilers. Did they do enough at the deadline? Did they not do enough? Were they able to address some of their issues up front, specifically in the bottom six? And really the theme of today's video uh, comes to their defense. Is their defense good enough? Now, if you look at their current defensive core, it looks pretty good on paper. You have Darnell Nurse, Cody Ceci, Matthias Ekholm, Evan Bouchard, Brett Kulak, Dave, uh, David, uh, I think it's Dayarnay, uh, Topi Niemelainen, and Philip Broberg. Uh, Marcus Niemelainen and Philip Broberg. So that's your top six. And what I like, well, really, that's your top eight, but your top six is still questionable, right? How good is Kulak and DeHarnay, right? And I think the questions around those guys leaves a lot of Oilers fans maybe wondering why they didn't, they didn't do more. You know, when you look at the Oilers as a team, it's not like they had a bad deadline, right? Obviously, they needed help up front, specifically with the Ekholm trade. I was really, I have glowing reviews for that trade. I think it was a great pickup by Ken Holland, but it seems like they needed more. And who could they have realistically gotten, right? And that's part of the problem. And, and Ken Holland said that in his press conference, if they were to make a move, it would have had to have meant money had to go out. So unless they would have been able to trade Warren Fogle and it's 2.75 cap hit till 2024, chances are they weren't going to be able to make a move, right? So, you know, when I look at what the Oilers did, they did fairly well, all things considered. Oh, Vincent DeHarnay is his name. So, like I said, that third pair, not really that great, you know, they talked about how in the during the playoffs, expect to see more of the young guys um, in the lineup, more Broberg, more Bouchard, right? And then some of the younger guys that we've started to see on that blue line as well, like a Marcus Niemelainen, and, um, and maybe even we'll see a little bit of the newly acquired Cam Deneen. So I think at the end of the day for the Oilers, there's definitely some issues with the depth in that top six on their blue line. But I think for the most part, you know, a lot of people might say the biggest criticism of the Oilers is the goaltending. And if Jack Campbell and Stuart Skinner don't play well, you know, as good as the defense is or isn't, if the goalies aren't good, it doesn't really matter. And I think that's a big thing with the Oilers right now is the fact that if they if they don't get competent enough goaltending, their defensive structure only goes so far. And kind of, you know, same point the other way around. If their defensive core... Is it that good? But their goaltending is, well, obviously their goaltending can only handle so much. So, you know, everything kind of has to be in harmony between the defense and the goaltending. And it just doesn't seem like it's been there. They've blown a couple of leads in games. They've had games that they probably should have won, specifically that Blue Jackets game two weeks ago, that weekend game. Like, there's certain games that if you're an Oilers team trying to make the playoffs, if you want to be a good playoff team, they're losing games that they shouldn't be losing realistically. And when you look at that blue line, that is definitely a weakness for this team. It obviously, it doesn't help having Ryan Murray and Oscar Clefbaum on LTIR. Who knows if we're ever, you know, we're probably never going to see Clefbaum in an Oilers jersey again. Ryan Murray, similar situation. It's one of those things, right? Mike Smith and, you know, those are guys that they were hoping would still be here that aren't. And it's definitely taken a toll on this team. So hopefully the Oilers are able to fix some of those things a little bit more in the summer. Like I said, hopefully Marcus Niemelainen and Philip Broberg continue to develop. Because it seems like if those guys come into the lineup, you know, the beginning of next season into training camp, they are definitely going to be either second or third pairing defensemen on this team. Hopefully they take on Cody Ceci. So he's not the top pairing defenseman with Darnell Nurse at some point. So... You know, we, you could kind of see the line here where, you know, you've got Nurse, Ekholm, and Cece that are kind of a stopgap for Niemelainen and Broberg as they continue to develop and become top four defensemen. I think the Oilers are really looking forward to the future with those players. So they're not really looking to invest in a really good young defenseman like getting another Bouchard right now because they have guys that are there 
just waiting for them to develop, and hopefully they'll be able to sign Niemelainen and Broberg to to good bridge deals that are somewhat cheap, and they're able to get that done. But obviously, you know, that's more about next year for Broberg. This summer, though, Evan Bouchard is an RFA, so it's going to be an important summer for the Oilers to make sure they lock him up and maybe they do get a longer-term deal done with him. But like I said, I think for the most part, the Oilers' blue line has definitely gotten better with Ekholm. I think seeing a little bit more of Broberg's development and Yamalainen as well is going to be a good thing for this team. Bouchard played better with Duncan Keith as his line mate back in the day when they before Keith left the team. I think this is a good pickup, and I think he's going to replace what they lost in Duncan Keith is Matthias Ekholm. I think Ekholm is a great fit for the Oilers. And I think he's going to help that team out going into the postseason. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. What do you guys think of the Oilers? Do you think they're legit? Are they better on the blue line? Or do you think they still needed another guy like a Radko Gudis or a John Klingberg? What do you guys think? Let me know your guys' thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you again next time.